Good morning. Good morning, family. Happy Monday. This is going to be probably like a, um, I don't know, hour, hour and a half total process, but I'm just going to go through the steps with you. I'm not going to keep you on. Um, this video is not going to be that long. Um, we're making sweet potato pie. Um, I sent out a video yesterday of just the ingredients. Um that I use now everybody's different and everybody has different ways of doing it but this is the way that I've been doing it for years and I haven't got any complaints okay um normally you would boil the sweet potatoes okay but um when you boil sweet potatoes sweet potatoes have a lot of natural sugar and I couldn't understand why, you know, you boil your yams or whatever, and then when you're putting the pie together, I'm a taste cooker. Let me just put that out there. I'm a taste cooker, so I have to taste it. And I couldn't understand why it was never sweet enough and had to add so much sugar. Well, now, uh, my mother lives in North Carolina, and what they're doing in the South, or at least where she is, they're no longer boiling the sweet potatoes. They're baking them, so they retain some of that natural sugar, so you don't have to add so much sugar. So, for the past couple of holiday seasons, I have tried that, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bake my um, sweet potatoes. Now, I'm going to bake them with the skin on. Um, once they're done, the skin peels off easily. But if you want to bake them, peel them, get that step over with now, that's up to you. I don't know if that makes a difference with it retaining the natural sugar. But to each its own, okay? I'm just letting you know what I do, guys, okay? All right, so let's get started. Now, if you're going to peel your yams before, I recommend this. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's from Betty Crocker. You see, I've had it for a while and it still works great um, to peel potatoes but you're gonna need your hand mixer um, I'm only making two pies today so I have two eggs I have my yams in the back now you can use whatever brand you want don't feel forced to use a name brand you know me um, I buy you know sale products okay so we have our ground cinnamon Oh, great. Like I said, only in my video. Nutmeg. I've started doing this. My my first husband's grandmother is the one who taught me how to make this. She was from the South. She puts a little pumpkin spy, pumpkin pie spice in her sweet potato pie. I just put a little bit. Don't put too much. Okay, because there's ginger in here and it, it kind of changes the taste. Um, we got the carnation evaporated milk. Vanilla extract. I'm going to use this whole stick of butter. Here's my sugar. And we have some flour. Use whatever brands that you like. And I got my pan ready because we're going to be... Um, I'm going to wash the potatoes and then we're going to bake them. Okay? And then we'll continue from there. Okay. Um, I also have the two pie crusts. I wanted the deep dish pie crusts. They did not have it, and I was not doing supermarket hopping. Um, I wanted to hurry up and get back home. So that will do. If I have extra filling, um, what I can do and what I have done before, I can freeze it or um, refrigerate it and then just run to the supermarket and get um, more pie crust. Um, but I'm not worried about having um, extra. Um, I'm not worried about it at that time, but that's what you can do. You can freeze it. I have froze it. Um, but those are the pie crusts. Listen, if you want to, you know, make your pie crust from scratch, um, knock yourself out. Um, you know, we don't do that over here, but my potatoes are washed and they're going to be ready to go in the oven. I have my oven preheated. And again, if you want to boil the yams, you can boil the yams. You'll boil them to they're soft where you could stick the fork through them. Um, but I've been trying this method, um, uh, to reduce the amount of sugar that I needed in the pies, okay? So we're going to put the yams in the oven, let them bake. And um, there's a step that we do with the pie crust. We're going to, I don't want to say pre-bake them, but you put them in the oven uh, for a little bit before you add the filling so they get some color on them, okay? I can't stand when people make pies and they don't do that. The dough, the pie crust just doesn't seem, I don't know, done. It doesn't, you know, I don't like that, but... To each its own, okay? So let's get these in the oven. 
Okay, the yams are out of the oven. I'm letting them cool a little bit so I don't burn my fingers off touching them. But what I'm going to be doing now is preparing the pie crust. Like I told you, we're going to pre-bake them, put them in the oven so they get some color on them and brown, okay? Not too brown, okay, because the pies are going to bake for 45 minutes. We don't want burnt pie crust, but we do want to put some color on them. So I'll show you how I do that. So yams are out of the oven. So here's a frozen pie crust. I take a fork. And basically, I'm just going to be putting some holes in them. If you put it in the oven without doing this, the pie crust is going to bubble up and start to rise. Okay, so you're just going to put holes all throughout the crust. It's hard to do this holding the camera. When I'm mixing, I'm going to be on the tripod, but that's all we're doing is putting holes. I already did the other one. I just wanted to show you, okay? So I'm going to put these in the oven. Okay, pie shells are out of the oven. You just want to put a little color on them. Um, and I'm going to start peeling the potatoes. Um, I'm going to try to adjust the camera so I get a good view. This is not easy, y'all. All right, so let's go. It's been taking me forever to get the right camera angle, guys. So I'm sorry if you can't see. It's hard. All I'm doing now is taking the uh, skin off of the yams. And if you boiled yours, um, it's the same step. Now, I don't know if it makes a difference if you... Um, I don't know if it makes a difference if you peel them before... I've never done it that way, so if you want to do it that way, that's up to you. I don't, really don't know if it makes a difference. Staying home today, out of the stores. Out of the stores. You know it's bad when you're tired of shopping. Um, I'm making some chicken gumbo today. Don't ask for a video right now. This is so annoying with this. You don't know how many times I've had to try to prop this up the best way I can. Um, I got to invest in a better tripod. It's not easy. And I'm doing laundry at the same time. I don't know what made me wake up and think I was the black Martha Stewart. I really don't know what I was thinking, okay? I got to get better so my days off can be my days off. You know what I mean? But hubby's off tonight, so make a nice home-cooked meal. So what we're going to do is just keep doing this to all the yams, have all the skin off of them. And again, the baking method is supposed to help retain um, the natural sugar in the yam, so you're not adding so much sugar, okay? And what you can do is add a little bit of salt also. That also helps to bring out the flavor. I know it sounds crazy, but a pinch of salt helps too. This is my least favorite part of this whole thing. My least favorite part. I did let them cool a little bit. I guess what I'm doing is practicing for Thanksgiving in a couple of weeks. Time is flying, guys. Before you know it, it's going to be 2019. I don't know how people do these cooking videos. I'm telling you. They probably have a better tripod. That's what I need. I need a better tripod. Okay, last one. And what I do, I don't know about you guys. I put a garbage bag in my kitchen sink so I could just dump all of this. Sorry.
I'm looking at something. And just check, make sure all the skin is out. Okay. I'm going to be adding uh, the other ingredients. All right, what I do is I don't add a lot. Just some carnation milk, okay? You see what I did? I'm not good with measurements, y'all. So if y'all are looking for exact measurements, I'm not your girl. All right. I have my eggs already beat. Just move this out of the way. Vanilla. Not a lot, guys. <laughs> what is not a lot? Not even a teaspoon. Just... That's it. Sprinkle a little on it, okay? Um, you're going to add more cinnamon than nutmeg, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a taster, so I'm doing this for you, Sharnay, because you requested this. I have my nutmeg, right? I don't know. You can't really see. I would say start with a teaspoon of nutmeg, okay? And you're going to add more cinnamon, so two teaspoons of cinnamon so I don't know if that equals a tablespoon my measurements are off y'all I'm gonna start with just a little bit not even a teaspoon like two shakes of the pineapple a pumpkin pie spice I'm sorry pineapple pumpkin pie spice and if you don't have it don't worry about it because I ain't start doing that till a couple of years later my pies were still good now my butt is already softened okay my butter is already softened. Um, I have my measuring cups, but like I said, we're going to start with a half a cup of sugar. Okay? If you want to start with a little less, you can start with a little less. Okay? So, half a cup of sugar. And I do not use a lot of flour, y'all. Don't use a lot of flour. So I wouldn't even say a half a cup of flour. We'll do, um, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do, start with a quarter cup of flour, okay? I don't use a lot of flour. I think this is going to be enough flour. And then what we do as I mix, I taste, okay? Is my blender plugged in? Hold on. I don't know why I think I'm Martha Stewart. You see the crock pot in the background, that's for the gumbo. Do what I did. Flour will get all over the place. Just try to mash down the dry and the wet ingredients. Don't do what I just did, please. guys now we're gonna have a little taste mm. 
we get in there, y'all. We're going to add some more sugar and some more cinnamon, okay? We are getting there. Mm-mm-mm. I love this time of year. I mean, listen, you can make sweet potato pies all year long. You don't have to wait till uh, this time of year. Now, i um, not going to add the half a cup again. That's a quarter of a cup. Okay? And some more cinnamon. I don't think no more nutmeg yet. I'm just shaking it in, guys. Again, just taste as you go until you get the flavor you want. I, 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 I pinch a nutmeg I just did, okay? Now I add I had added the extra cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar. So let's taste again. I think it's perfect, y'all. I really think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. Almost perfect. Just a tiny bit of sugar, and I'm gonna get a pinch of salt, okay? No more sugar after this. A tiny bit. Okay, and let me go find salt. Okay, I added the extra, the last bit of sugar. I'm not adding no more sugar. And I have like a little bit of salt. And we're done. I want to make sure that everything is mixed up from the sides of the bowls and stuff like that. Make sure everything is blended. One final taste, but I'm confident that this is it, guys. All right, we ready. We are ready. Move this out of my way. I have one of the pie crusts here. Now, usually I like deep dish, but they didn't have any, and I was not going supermarket hopping early this morning. So basically, you're going to fill the pie shell. overfill but make sure it's filled and just smooth it out this could have made three pies let me turn my oven I'm going to turn my oven to 365 I'm going to get the other pie crust and we're going to be baking y'all pies are going to be baking let me pause We're filling the other pie crust now. Maybe not. Just enough. Just made just enough. Let me move it down so you could see what I'm doing.
Yeah. Try if you if you've been making sweet potato pies, try the uh, baking method. I'm telling you, when I used to boil the yams, I used to add more sugar than that. Trust me. You need less sugar. You know what I mean? So here are our pies. The oven is preheating. And we're going to be eating sweet potato pie late. late. Well, not y'all, but unless y'all make this today. Um, and that's about it. It's cleanup time. And hubby went to go get the uh, diced tomatoes, and that will be for the gumbo. I like to get my stuff done early, so it'll be done. But um, these will go in the oven, and I'll show you the finished product, okay? There they are in the oven. We're going to let them bake for 40 minutes, okay? 35, 40 minutes. And I have it set at 365. I'll be watching them closely. Okay, the pies are finished. Um, won't be cutting it till dinner time. They're for dessert. Um, I hope this recipe helps you. I don't know recipe or demonstration because I didn't really give you guys measurements. I told you that's not how I cook. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments.